Good morning, folks. Today we've got a lot of solar forcing of the terrestrial climate, got a sprinkle of catastrophe at the end with a shout out to Bright Insight. And we are, of course, starting with the sun, where we're opening with the filament lifting and benignly erupting into interplanetary space after twisting helically high in the corona. And we're watching the sunspots depart. The filaments are still an eruption threat and are the only watch today. The coronal holes are confined to the poles at these heliographic longitudes and solar wind and geomagnetic conditions are quiet. So, let's go to seismicity. Three magnitude six events struck the Pacific faults. That is a nice little one day uptick there with no reports of serious damage or injury. Always good to get pressure release from the crust without a disaster. Let's ease into the articles with one on juicing up the earth. The outer Van Allen radiation belt is routinely depleted in solar storms. So where does it get recharged? While many space weather enthusiasts would immediately say, uh, the solar wind, obviousness doesn't make for peer reviewed papers. They're looking now to a direct stream from the solar corona to the earth magnetic system. And electrodynamically, our energetic interaction with the solar wind drives electric currents across the entire planet. And they have long underestimated this coupling, despite having the data to suggest it was there. But they truly didn't have a good way of catching it all before using multi-spacecraft measurements, and especially including all of the interplanetary magnetic field components of the solar wind. Something we advocate for in the strongest, and not just here, but here too. It's got an entire section in the new book. So let's see how some other papers this weekend stack up with the book, The Observer Supplement. We'll begin with instant solar forcing, one of the critical aspects missed in climate modeling. And the sun has the ability to electrically excite the entire planet as we come to the new supplement, day and night, pole to equator, at pretty much light speed. It uses the Earth ionosphere waveguide and creates a global scale excitement of the thermosphere and global electric circuit, which then affects pressure cells, clouds, and surface temperature. Heading back to the paper, within the resolution of a few seconds, we see the pole to equator excitement in both hemispheres. And of course, it's using the Earth ionosphere waveguide. And just to drive home that little essence of truth, look what they named their model. Yeah, you don't think the scientists around the world are getting it? They are. Finally, a shout out to Jimmy from Bright Insight. Now the most cancel happy and snowflake woke among the observers might not like him because he and I differ a good bit on the earth catastrophe cycle. But he and I have also found many areas on which we agree. And recently on his channel, they discovered the green Saharan episodes, at least one of them. And some of the old maps he has showing the ancient rivers in Africa, which aren't there now, is quite the gem from the past. Fantastic recommendation in the bigger picture. The greening of the Sahara is what we call a tropical hydroclimate event, and we're back at the book. And while small harmonic versions do appear on centennial and millennial scales, the big ones are tied to the 6,000 year cycle. And in fact, during the NOAA event 6,000 years ago, we got the greenest of the green Saharan episodes on record, an excellent synergy there, and a consequence of Heinrich event-like forcing. Folks, our new book is only available for 10 more days until Amazon shuts down cells for good, We'll eventually have a replacement store, but that's going to be a while. Get to otf.cells.com to get our recent supplement, the previous textbooks, the children's books, hats, shirts, and more. We greatly appreciate your support. We've got shots of our star to close. Subscribe, and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now, it's 5.30 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.